The Walking Dead returns to AMC on Sunday night for a fifth blood-soaked, gut-churning, gory season, with its small band of survivors in a dire crisis, trapped inside a rail car at the mercy of another band of survivors, occupying an old rail yard they v-dubbed Terminus, who may or may not be cannibals. Here are five things to think over ahead of the show's return. Rick Grimes 1. How do they get out of that trailer? In a world where survival is counted in hours, this is the most burning question and the most immediate. Last season ended with Rick Grimes, former sheriff's deputy and violent, morally challenged leader of the group, snarling that these terminusens, or terminuses, or termites, were screwing with the wrong people. How long will it be until we find out if he's right? Probably not long. Is he right? Well, we read talking about a guy who ripped out somebody's jugular with his teeth. We read betting Rick S. right on this one. Glenn Rhea and Daryl Dixon. 2. Oh my god, Glenn is totally going to die. After the first trailer for the upcoming season was released, speculation has been rampant that Glenn, the former pizza delivery man, dies this season. That s because of one clip, where he s bound, on his knees while somebody standing behind him takes aim at his head with a baseball bat. The show has a history of killing off major characters, so it is not inconceivable 